Some said, light is particle, some others said, the light is wave. Whatever people said, there is one thing for sure, that light contains energy. As energy, light can be diffracted. Like the visible light that can be diffracted into a rainbow. As mentioned in my previous video, the gravity is actually a compressed space, that contains energy. Shorter distance to the center of mass, will have higher energy, and vice versa. So, if the energy of light entering the gravity field, there will be a transformation of energy. When the light enters the gravity field, the gravity field is balancing the energy of light by diffraction. The light will be directed toward the center of mass, the light will not be accelerated, because diffraction already balances the energy of the light. Diffraction begins with lowest energy of light, and diffracts more energy, as the light goes to the mass center. The sunlight also experiences same phenomenon, but it little more complicated. Before entering the Earth, the light should travel across complex interaction gravitational field, between Earth and Sun, in this area, the sunlight is experiencing huge diffraction that makes the light release huge amount of energy. Then the sunlight enters the Earth gravity without dangerous radiation. In the Earth gravity, light is diffracted again. The red light becomes the first diffracted light, then yellow and green. Finally, the blue light reaches the Earth's surface directly. This direct light coloring the sky becomes blue. The diffracted light still can reach the Earth, and mix each other. If all color of light are mixed, the light become white. This white light make the sky looks pale, when we look at the horizon. The gravity of Earth and Sun create polar formation at the spin axis of the Earth. The polar formation will diffract the light that escaped from Earth gravity. Therefore, we can say aurora at the polar region. And the light that release energy, cannot maintain the velocity to straight trajectory, it will be bended. Meanwhile, polar formation does not occur in the equator, because the spin of Earth has spread the mass of Earth and the energy of space is smaller than the polar region. The small energy at the equator only leaves the red light and yellow light, as we can see during the sunset.